Hi guys, today we're going to read the book, The Magic Glasses. Let's get started. This will be an epic adventure. It was early Saturday morning and Ellie has just woke up from her amazing dream. In her dream, Ellie was on a mission to rescue her brother. Disguised in her cloak, Ellie rode her horse through the dense woods and the high icy mountains. Ellie couldn't wait to share her dreams. But when she got downstairs, Ellie found her brother eating sugar off and watching cartoons. Where's Grandma? Ellie asked. Her brother pointed toward the kitchen. Ellie knew Grandma would want to hear about her dream. She was a dreamer too. You must have big plans for today after having a dream like that. Grandma said, there's nothing to do but watch cartoons. Ellie said, like your brother? Grandma shook her head. There is no magic in the TV, but there is magic all around. What magic? Yep. Ellie asked. I don't see any. Come now, Ellie, she said. You just need to see more clearly. Grandma let Ellie passed her brother to an old trunk in the living room. She lifted the heavy lid and took out an old pair of glasses. Here, she said, dusting off the ones. Wear these and you will see magic. Ellie put them on and looked around. Everything is the same, Ellie said. Of course, Grandma replied. Glasses don't change what you are looking at. You have to be willing to see the magic in order and for the glasses to work. Go outside and find the magic. Ellie walked outside. It was a day like every other Saturday. There were cars in the driveways, sprinklers spinning over lawns, and people walked out walking their dogs. It was all very normal and not magical. Slowly, everything shifted. The cars became silver, bug-eyed monster. The sprinklers shot high, become endless enchanted fountains, and the cables overhead sparkled and hummed, shooting purple power to all the houses on the block. The warm sun shone through the pines and ferns, making everything a dreamy green. In the playground, children rode whales carved in stone and climbed iron bars shaped like rocket ships. They pretend to be divers and astronauts, and a moment really became them. Across from the park, the museum was just opening. Ellie went inside. The halls brought her to jungles and savannas rose by apes and elephants. People from ancient civilizations used dust, rocks, and buildings to make oh, to big buildings. Ellie spent a long time walking around her city. It was wide and tall, made of glass, cement, and steel. But Ellie saw ice sculptures walking on warm, soft sand and marveled at the buildings made of stardust. When Ellie returned home, Grandma was eating lunch in the kitchen. How was it? Magical, Ellie said. She took off the glasses and handed them back to Grandma. Here, she said. I don't need these anymore. I can see fine. Think about it. What is the moral of the story? One made the glasses work for Ellie. What does the picture on the last page tell you about Ellie? Guess those. The end. Thank you for watching.